Good morning. Today is May 20th, 2020. My name is Lilia. And in today's video, we're going to follow up on my Apple credit cost spread. So today's lesson is going to be part three. Before I start today's lesson, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on my face at the bottom of the screen. It is free to subscribe. And now I present to you our lesson for today. Here is my Apple credit call spread at the bottom of this page. This trade was placed on May 7. Today is May 20th, so this was 13 days ago. So let's see what happened since May 7. So May 7, Apple was right around here and it was trading between $301.97 and $305.17. It went up a little, came back down, and because this is a credit call spread, it is a bearish strategy. So when it was coming back down, that was heading in the right direction. But all of a sudden, today, it is at 318. So this is quite fascinating. Had a big jump between here and here. So Apple is remaining in the overbought region. Today it is up over $5. So it is heading in the wrong direction. This is a credit call spread, so it's bearish. And Apple has been on a very strong uptrend since I placed the trade. So now we can see that I have a, a loss of $97. We still have 30 days remaining. In order for this trade to be successful at expiration, Apple needs to stay below 325, which is the straight price of my short call. So right now it is at 318 and it's only about seven dollars away from my short call straight so it's getting closer and closer if apple continues to rise over the next 30 days my losses are going to get bigger and bigger the max loss on this trade at expiration would happen if apple closes above my long strike of 330 the easiest way to calculate the max loss is take the difference between the two straight prices, which is $5, and subtract out the original credit, which was almost $1. To be exact, the original credit was $0.98. Cents. So let's do the math. My maximum loss on this trade is $402. If Apple closes above 330. So here's a question. And by the way, this was not a real trade. This was just an example of how to place a credit call spread and how to manage it. The thing we need to worry about is the probability that my long call option will end up in the money at expiration. And according to the data, there's about a 30% chance of that happening. So if my long call option ends up in the money at expiration, I'm going to lose $402. So here's a question for you. If you had a trade like this and it is heading the wrong direction, would you leave it open and hope that Apple stays in the right spot or would you rather close a trade right now and take a small loss right now if I close the trade I will be losing $97 which is obviously not a big deal because that's better than losing $402 so if you had a trade like this and you're starting to lose sleep I would recommend that you just close the trade and cut your losses. At this moment, there is a 30% chance that we could lose $402, which is obviously a lot of money. 
if Apple stays below my short strike of 325, this trade will be successful. And what is the probability that my short call is going to stay out of the money? So that is 100 minus 38, 62%. So this trade still has a 62% chance of success. Anything can happen, right? Apple has certainly staged a pretty strong recovery since the lows in March. It is very close to the all-time high of 327. And that was the reason I selected the 330 call as my long option. Just for fun, I'm going to show you a couple of screenshots that I took of this trade on two different dates. This one was taken on May 15, five days ago, when Apple was at 306. It was down $2.67 that day, and my loss on the trade was around $33. This is a screenshot on May 18, which was two days ago, and Apple had a, another big up day. And so you can see that my losses on the trade got a little bit bigger. This position lost $34 on the 18th. That means the previous day my losses were a little bit less. Specifically the previous day my losses were $34.48 less. And now back to today's position. So if you had a trade like this Tell me what, will you, what you would consider doing at this point. Close a trade and cut your losses, or leave it open and hope that Apple goes back down and you can either take a smaller loss or maybe even come out with a small profit. There is no right or wrong answer to that question because it all depends on your risk tolerance. Some traders prefer to just cut their losses. Other traders don't mind holding and hope that their trade improves. As long as Apple stays below 325 moving forward, time decay will help this trade. But you never know. Apple could certainly continue to rise and then these losses will get bigger and bigger. So feel free to tell me in the comment section how you would handle a trade like this. Leave it open or close it and cut your losses. Thank you for watching and many thanks to my Patreon members for making this video possible.